Hello first graders, welcome to another new math lesson. We're still in topic one and today we'll be doing lesson two. So please make sure you have this sheet and that's what we're going to work with today. Remember, last lesson you have learned how pattern can help you to find numbers. But today you will learn how to make numbers from their parts. Do you remember parts and whole? All right. So. Today's new words inside inside outside. If I hold my counter and I just drop like this. How many went inside? Let me get them closer to the camera so you can see them. So how many was inside? Only one went inside. So I will say one inside and how many outside? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's try it one more time. I'll put this so we can spot. And let's see, I can get more than that. Ah, still one. No, oh, I'm gonna try to get more than one. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Let's count outside first one, two, three, four. Four outside, and how many inside? one two three so three were inside my jar or my container and four went out so this is inside and this these were outside but together one two three four five six seven so i'm working with seven counters let's see if i'll take one away and work with six only all right I'm gonna make it easy. I'm gonna draw like a cave and I'm gonna try to drop my counters and see how many will land inside my cave or how many outside. So let's write here inside and this will be any part up out my cave will be outside all right so these are the new ones inside outside I have my six counters and then I'm gonna drop awesome would you like to this one to push it in or out eh, let it be in so how many I have inside one two three four i have four inside and how many outside i have two outside so two counters inside and i'm sorry four counters inside and two counters outside can i count them all one two three four five six so i can make six by having four plus two equals six Let's see if we can do something different. Hmm. Okay, I will consider this inside. All right, can you see this? I have three landed outside, three outside, one, two, three. And how many inside might give? One, two, three. So let's change the numbers here. And write three and three outside. So I have three outside and three inside. Can we count them all? So one part of three, one part three. So can I count? Can I write my addend? One, two, three, three plus how many inside? Three inside, three outside, and the total. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
so the total is fixed so this is another way to make six remember the first one four plus two equals six three plus three equals six can I do a different pattern and I still get number six I'm sure I can let's see I I just cheated I wanted to have five inside and one outside so one two three four five these are my inside and then I have one outside so I'm gonna remove my old number I'm gonna write I have one outside and how many inside let's remove this one one two three four five five so one part is one one part is five so my first add-in is one I'm gonna write here one and the second add-in one two three four five plus five and your total number is six so this is another way a different pattern to make six we had four plus two equals six remember the first four inside four outside and then the second part or the second uh, chance was three plus three so this is my second pattern and then I had the third pattern was one plus five so five inside and one outside okay so we're gonna put this away and get our math sheet making six and seven so what we need to do first hold your six either buttons or counters or even you can cut paper big like square or circles and have fun and just have something to use all right so the first two numbers number one and number two you only hold six counters one two three four five six all right so what you need to do you need to draw them either you can draw an outside paper a cave like this or use the cave that is drawn to you so we need to make six I have six so I'm gonna throw them and I'm gonna see how many will land inside and how many will land outside if you find this is hard and difficult you can bring um, a cup or you can have like a paper plate and you use and you can but smaller than that and then you also use them and you see how many will land inside your plate and how many will be uh, will land outside all right so let's try the cave first oh, i want to make sure that nothing in okay um when it's out it's out but i have to show it show it to you so i'm gonna put it uh, over here and well this is i will consider in and these two out so now how many i have out and how many i have in so inside how many did you have in your care two that's my trial you're gonna do it and you're gonna do it your way so whatever you get you're gonna write so how many two inside two so over here you're gonna write two oh this is inside so i'm gonna write two all right and how many outside one two three four i'm gonna write four outside all right i have colored erasers here let me use maybe this will be i need six two three four five and six awesome I'm gonna do the same throw them 
see how many will land inside my cave and how many will land outside and then I'm gonna fill uh, question number two or problem number two right so let's okay so I will consider this in in and this is out so how many I have inside and how many I have outside let's count the inside first one two three so I have three inside and how many inside one two three I got three outside so this is making six all right remember you doing we're making number six and number seven so now I have number two and number number one and number two I'm, I was making six so now number three and number four I need seven eraser or whatever you use so I'll get my seventh white here and try to get the same number okay well if you don't have the same color and if you have different colors whatever you like but I'm using one color to to make it easy for you to count and find out so we want to do seven over here I knew that I have six so I'm gonna write six here three plus three also equals six so this is a different way to make six a different pattern when we draw in a pattern way it will be different so now I have seven so one two three four five six seven what do I need to do I need to also do the same exercise throw them see how many will land inside how many will land outside and then you're gonna fill question number three you're gonna repeat the same and do uh, answer number four so let's do one together okay <laughs> all right I will say one two three and I will take this out because it's out my cave so I'll consider this out so I'll just take it away so he can count right so how many inside one two three so inside question number three inside I have three erasers inside the cave and how many outside one two three four and four outside total count them one two three four five six seven so total seven that means this is a way to make seven that means three plus four is seven we will come to this part later on all right so i'll let you do number four have fun and let's turn our page and read first the example we have and then we do the guided practice all right there are seven crabs in all so in all seven crabs your whole number is seven let's count them one two three four five six seven all right some of the crabs are inside the cave some are inside so let's count them one two three four so four are inside all right and some of the crabs are outside the cave and i see some are outside one two three so three outside so i have four inside i have three outside so let's write it this way so four the inside crabs three the outside and in all or the whole number seven because if i count one two three four five six seven my whole number or in all i have seven crabs all right let's go for the guided practice page eight okay here you go page eight write the number inside and outside then write the number in all so they already put the crabs for you they put some inside and some outside all what you have to do count what's inside count what's outside and count in all so first one first example one two three so three inside how many outside one two three three outside 
and in all or the total or the whole would be one two three four five six six so now I know one way to make six is three plus three three and three okay question number two how many I have inside two so we're gonna write and how many outside one two three four four outside so in all how many we have one two three four five six so in all we have six so that will be another way to make six so three and three equals six two and four also equals six all right now let's see number three how many inside let's count the cards are inside the cave one two three i'm gonna put my number right number three inside and let's count the crab the outside the cave one two three four so how many outside four how many in all i know three inside so after three four five six seven so in all i have seven crabs three inside four outside did you see the way i count number three here i didn't count the inside three i didn't go one two three and then four five six seven no i know inside is three because i know my numbers i know what comes after three four so i know inside three i see four five six seven all right do you understand what is another way to show seven using tiles or erasers or anything you like? So this is what one way, three and four, three inside and four outside. So you can pause the video and use your counters or your erasers or whatever you were using before and try to see how can you make seven. So you can throw them in a, in a bowl or a plate and see how many will go in and how many will go out. So first you need to make sure that you have seven of the counters that you were using, either erasers or the counters or the bottle or markers or crayons or whatever you have. And throw them and make seven. So what's inside the box or inside the plate and count how many outside. And that will be another way to show seven. So same like here. Um, let's try because I want to make sure that you can do this I'm gonna use green eraser so I need seven in all two four six seven okay and I'm gonna draw inside my plate circle now I'm gonna throw my seven seven erasers inside and I'm gonna count how many will land inside my circle and how many will land outside and then I will know and learn that this is a way to make seven so let's start okay uh, I got three and seven I need something different because that's what we have in this example so I want to try to have something different oh <laughs> so how many we have inside the circle I drew one two three four and how many outside one two three which is mean another way to make some is four plus two. I still want different than that let's try again Ah, yeah, yeah. One more time. Okay, I will consider this out. No, this is in. This is out, and this is out because most of it was out. So now let's count how many in my circle landed in my circle, and how many outside. So inside two, 
I'm gonna write here two two inside and how many outside one two three four five so this is another way to make seven because I know all what I have for I only have seven eraser so when I throw the plate two landed in and five landed out that's mean what another way to show seven is two and exactly so another way I'll put it here I want to make sure you see it I will write here there so another way to make seven is two inside and I have the word inside here if you cannot see it and one two three four five five outside this means this is another way to make seven awesome okay this is independent practice that means you will do this on your own but i will read the examples for you so the word bank or the word that we're using in all which is the total inside and then outside so outside and inside all right so number four you need to count how many inside and you're gonna put your number here how many outside and you're gonna put it here and then in all all of it the whole number you count in the inside and outside together to give me the total or the sum or the in all all right number five same thing count how many inside the cave of then you're gonna put outside how many crabs outside and then count all so how many crap inside the cave how many crap outside the cave and counts all number six same idea how many crabs inside how many outside you put here the inside number over here the outside and then you count in all all right over here algebra <coughs> Draw the missing part of the outside. Write the missing number. Inside, I have five. One, two, three, four, five. And the total, in all, six. So how many number I need to add to the five to make six? You need to draw your crap to make six. I'll help you with this one. So one, two, three, four, five inside, and the rest should be outside to make six. So after five, I know I can. Okay, five, six. That mean how many did I put outside? One. So I will put here one. So five inside, one outside, the total will be six. Are you sure? Yeah. Five after five, six. Okay. Then page 10, last, last page of this sheet. Solve the problems below. So we have sentence and we need to break the sentence in order to understand and answer our question. Ben put three toy trucks inside. Three toy trucks inside the box so you need to draw three trucks three inside all right you're gonna draw three inside and he put four toy trucks outside so he put four toy trucks outside the box so this is your box inside you have three outside you have four so this is four so four outside in three inside after that how many trucks are there in all 
draw a picture to solve. So you're gonna put three inside, four outside, and tell me how much in all. Then you're gonna put it here. Or I'm, so, I'm sorry, how many in all? You're gonna put it here. Anna hides five blocks under the table. She hides one block under the chair. So she has five. She five blocks or counters or anything here under the table or the chair I'm just showing you and then she hit another one over here all right so how many blocks does Anna hide in all and what are you gonna do count how many she hid under the table or under the chair or whatever you use a book and how many she has under count them all and then try to find your number here and it's here and you're gonna circle it so total she has and you're gonna choose your number all right number 10 write a sentence about six toy cars drew a picture to match put some cars inside put some cars outside write the number to tell about the story that's exactly like here so you can say let's say your name ali put and then you have total six car so you're gonna say ali put how many cars you want to put um, inside the box so you're gonna say ali you need to write ali put two toy cars in the box or inside and how many you put outside four and over here you're gonna put how many you put inside for example two how many outside four and in all would be or you can put how many inside five and how many outside one it's your choice so you're not drawing here you're writing and as I said you have it up there so you can put your name put three or four whatever your choice to make six remember in all should be six that's mean when I can add the inside and the outside it should be six not less not more okay that's that's it for this lesson making six and seven and we use the inside the outside and in all and we learn different way to make number six and to make number seven all right super boys and girls that's it for today bye bye